People are claiming that I'm being too hard on the Republican Party. The thing is, I'm judging the Republican Party on the ones who have power. You should be judging the Democrats on the ones who have power. But that's not what's going on. And some of you want everyone to judge the Republican Party based on the very, very best archetype that a Republican can possibly be, and not on what the Republicans in power are like. And yet you want to judge the Democrat Party based on the very worst of what the extreme left are who don't even usually consider themselves Democrats. Fuck you and your double standards. I'm seeing that shit over and over again from people. Fuck you. You think you can keep getting away with that without someone calling you out on it? I certainly don't demand that you judge the Democratic Party based off of the very best archetype of what Democrats can possibly be. No. I'm hoping that you're judging the Democratic Party based off of what Democrats who have had power have actually been doing. And let's make no mistake about it, there is a lot of corruption in the Democratic Party. You can especially see a, a good example of the corruption in how they pretty much, the DNC screwed over Bernie, you know, but that's kind of another discussion. I mean, there's a lot to say negative about the Democrats especially how they water down their positions before they bring them to the table. So by the time they actually get something that looks like a bill, you wonder, what the fuck is this? They also have no problem supporting and promoting the military-industrial complex, just like Republicans. They're also very corporatist, just like Republicans, although I think Republicans are a little bit worse about it, because they're... You know, they believe in the whole supply-side economics, otherwise known as trickle-down economics. No, don't call it that. That's, that's, that. I'm going to call it that because it's crap. I'm going to call a crap economic theory crap. Sorry. Oh, it offends people when you call it trickle-down. Well, too fucking bad. Oh, no, your poor little feelings. Someone called a theory a bad name. But... Here's the main thing I'm trying to say in this video. If you get to judge Democrats based on the worst examples of what the left can be, the, the fringe groups of the left, then I get to judge Republicans based off of some of their worst examples, the KKK, white nationalists, neo-Nazis. But, 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 no, no, fuck you and your double standards. If you get to judge the, the Democrats that way, I get to judge the Republicans this way. But guess what? None of us should be judging this way. It's stupid to judge this way. We should be judging based off of the people who have power. I wish both sides would knock it off, but nope, 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 the left, the left, look at the left. Pay no attention to what the Republicans are doing. Mainstream media covers that. And we're so tired of hearing about how terrible the president is. But as I've said, I'm judging the Republican Party based on the people who have power. And what the people who have power are supporting. Or are willing to support. If they don't support those things, they sure haven't done a very good job standing up against it. Look how long it took for just anyone to say anything negative about the child detention camps and separating families. Republicans in power have thrown away their decent, wholesome morals and values in order to support the cult of the Trump administration. This is why I say that the current Republican Party has no morals. This isn't about me saying, oh, my morals are better than yours. No, it's the fact that I haven't thrown my morals away in order to support something. You know, I haven't thrown my morals away in order to support everything that a corrupt administration does or says. Trump is a cult figure. It's kind of like how Archie Bunker was becoming a cult figure, and that's why they eventually stopped uh, producing uh, All in the Family. But, you know, we have someone like that as president. We essentially have Biff Tannen as president. But it's cool, you know, as long as we trigger some snowflakes, right? Let's be absolutely clear about something. If the, these Kavanaugh hearings would have happened during the 1990s, this would have had a very different outcome, oh, especially if it would have been a Democrat that would have been under fire like that. Totally different outcome. Let's make no mistake about it. Let's not forget that Republicans worked so hard to get Bill Clinton impeached over an extramarital affair. 
People talk about how much liberals have changed, but I'd say it's the Republicans who have changed the most over these years. They've pretty much thrown away anything good they ever stood for, all so they can get drunk on power. Yeah, enjoy your power. Enjoy your cult figure. You're not gonna like the retaliation that eventually happens.